UT61 series has five models. They are UT61A, B, C, D, and E. Now I will introduce our standard accessories. The leftmost accessory is the point type temperature probe. The second one from the left are standard probes. The third one is CD. It is included in all except UT61A. The accessory on top of the CD is the adapter socket. These are UT61 series manual and warranty card. The last one is RS-232 data connection cable, which is used for connecting to the computer. UT61A does not have this. Now I will introduce the difference between these five meters. The leftmost is UT61A. It can measure transistor and electrical field detection. UT61B and C have temperature measurement. UT61D and E have true RMS measurement. UT61A, B, C, and D all have backlight function. UT61B, C, D, and E all have RS-232 data connection cable, which can be used to connect to computer for data transmission. Now let's look at UT61E. These are the accessories of UT61E. Now I will introduce the exterior of UT61E. This is the screen. Below the screen, the leftmost button is the data hold button. The second one is the range selection button. The third one is the relative me value measurement button. And the fourth one is the peak selection button. The yellow button is, is the function selection button. Let's look at the dial. Functions with yellow symbols can be changed by the yellow button. Now this is the voltage stall. Press the yellow button to change to frequency function. We can change between these two functions. The blue button is used for changing between DC and AC voltage and current. Now it is in DC voltage. Then we can change to AC. DC and AC can be interchanged. Now turn to current stall and change between DC and AC. This is the function dial. 
It is used for selecting various functions. There are four terminals below the dial. The leftmost terminal is for large current measurement. The second one is for small current measurement. The third one is the common input terminal. And the fourth is, the other function, is for other functions such as capacitance, voltage, resistance, and frequency. We can turn the dial to the corresponding functions for their measurement. Now I will use voltage measurement as an example and give you a demonstration. Insert black probe into the COM terminal and red probe into the rightmost terminal. Now I will use voltage measurement as an example and give you a demonstration. UT61E digital multimeter is a 4.5 bit true RMS multimeter. What are the differences between true RMS and average value meters? Generally, average value meters can only obtain accurate measurements of sine wave signals. If we want to measure other waveforms such as saw wave or square wave, Average value multimeters may produce errors and inaccurate reading. True RMS multimeters can accurately measure any type of waveforms. Now I will perform another demonstration. Change to AC voltage stall. The measured data is about 223.6 volts, which is in the allowed error range. Now I will take a 9 volt battery as an example to perform DC voltage measurement. First, change to DC voltage. You can see that the measured value is 9.694 volts. Thank you for watching.